apex predator. I'm beauty and beast. Dear God, it's beautiful. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and I saw a couple comments about getting a haircut, so I thought I would style it a little bit differently today. But we are going to be talking about the new upcoming collection event, along with the cosmetics you'll be able to get, and what is the cheapest way to get the Loba Heirloom, while also giving out a Loba Heirloom. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, and I will pick out a winner, and you will be announced in tomorrow's video. But without further ado, let's talk about the new event and how to get the Heirloom. So we finally got the brand new Beast of Prey collection event trailer yesterday, and while it does look absolutely phenomenal with an Aliens vs Predator theme going on, and a brand new LTM called Gun Run, which we went over a couple times on this channel, where you will be able to play up to squads of four, competing to get the most knocks with a certain weapon until you use a throwing knife at the end of the game. Overall, the event looks a ton of fun, but the most prized possession always in these events is going to be the heirloom, and we got our first glimpse at Loba's heirloom in the trailer, and it seems like the community is very happy with what they were presented with the war fan, and how it ties into the character and her legacy. And while we know that heirlooms are one of the most expensive items in the game, we're gonna go over some things Things to actually make it as cheap as possible and to save you the most amount of money. To get the collection event heirloom, you will need to collect all 24 unique cosmetic skins within the event. Each pack will cost 700 Apex coins. Doing this will cost you a total of $160. However, because you can only buy Apex coins in the increments of $59.99 and $99.99 to make that $160, you will actually be left over with 1,400 extra Apex coins. This is not the method you want to do because it will actually cost you more money in the long run and there are cheaper ways to go about this. The first way to go ahead and save yourself some money is that during every collection event they always have sales on two specific bundles one that contains a skin in seven event packs and a second one that contains a skin in three event pack and they total 7500 apex coins so you get a total of 12 packs for only 75 dollars after you get the initial two bundles you will still need to buy the remaining 12 packs and you will be spending the same amount about 160 dollars as you have to buy the apex coins in a certain amount of increment as we went over 60 dollars and 99 dollars with this method you will be left over with 23 300 coins which is 900 more than you would have if you just bought the pack straight up so you already have more coins left over now here's the part where you can get even more money off using this method and that's by using ea play and what's great about ea play is they actually have a seven day free trial which you could sign up and then cancel if you are not a fan of it right afterwards and it will give you 10 percent off on all purchases for apex coins also if you have xbox game pass you get ea play automatically so not only can you use the ea play to play games for an entire week for free and try some of them out and then cancel the subscription at no cost to yourself but you can also use that 10 percent off to get the bundles that i previously mentioned therefore you will save money on the total amount of coins you have to buy and still walk away with that extra 2300 apex coins plus an heirloom and there are even more additional ways to save costs on the heirloom you can actually craft event packs and they usually for one legendary it's 2400 crafting materials and for an epic it's 800 crafting materials the easiest way to get crafting materials is by simply changing your account to the Belgium region, what you're going to want to do to go to your EA account, and you're going to want to sign into whatever's tied to your Apex Legends account. You're then going to go ahead and go to account security. Now, when you're there, you're actually going to change your region to Belgium from wherever it is. And the reason for that is in Belgium, they are not allowed to sell you loot packs. What this does is when you go back to your Apex Legends account and you look at the battle pass, all the legendary loot boxes, any loot box in general in the battle pass will go ahead and be turned into crafting materials, which is fantastic. I would not worry about anything happening to your account by switching to Belgium as players have been using this since the first battle pass was introduced without any repercussions, nor does EA track the location of your account, so you should be good to go. You will still get packs after you level up, so you will still be able to get an heirloom from opening regular packs. This only impacts the battle pass, but will allow you to effectively double the amount of crafting materials for any skin in the game to be purchasable. This will work whether you be on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and it does work on PC, but only the Origin one. Sadly, Steam does not have the ability to use this function. A friend of mine, Omega, who's actually a great Apex Legends YouTuber, you should check him out, actually made a spreadsheet of how much you can save with crafting materials. And you would need around 38,400 crafting materials to get the entire event free, but it is definitely possible. And what's really important to know about the crafting of the packs is that you want to craft the Epic skins and not the legendaries, but the Epics are 800 to craft. Therefore, you can do a lot more of them, getting more packs out of the way with less crafting materials spent, meaning that you don't have to buy as many packs. Let me know down below if you are planning on using this method and what to you think of the collection event so far and how do you think it's going to be and until next time legends keep slaying in the outlands and i'll see you out there